we are headed east on Illinois 146, just east of Anna, Illinois, headed for some Mississippian formation fossils in a road cut just east of I-57. It's crinoids, brachiopods, an occasional trilobite, and horn coral on this episode of Rock Hounding USA. Most rock hounds are accustomed to parking their vehicles, then hiking hundreds of yards or even several miles to reach a fossil site. But today's collecting hotspot is a small road cut about 10 feet from the edge of the road. To reach this famous road cut, travel east about 1,500 feet from the intersection of Interstate 57 along Illinois 146. This site is almost exactly five miles east of Anna, Illinois. About 100 yards of fossil-bearing limestone is eroding on both the northern and southern side of Illinois 146, but the northern face seems to consistently yield the best treasures. Crinoids, blastoids, Archimedes screws, and other bryzoans litter the layers and saturate the soil. Almost every handful of dirt has a prize waiting inside. Chase reached the collecting area just moments ahead of me and immediately found a sizable discovery. All right, look at this beauty that Chase pulled right out, just right off the topsoil. Didn't even have to extract it. This area is heavily eroded, which is a fossil hunter's paradise, because as you can see, the fossils have weathered out of the strata, and a lot of them are just laying right on top of the topsoil. Look at this beautiful Archimedes screw right here. Look at that. Nice guy. Nice guy right there. Absolutely beautiful, completely free of the host rock. Uh, crinoids, Archimedes screws, brachiopods in abundance here at the road cut just east of Anna, Illinois and Interstate 57 along Illinois Route 146. Be on the lookout for the telltale netted appearance of Fenestella. These fan-shaped colonies derive their name from the Latin fenestra, which means window due to the arrangement of tiny windows in their skeletal structure. This layer is absolutely filled with the remains of crinoids. We've got a nice death plate here. And all these are just weathering out of the rock very rapidly. Very, very rapidly. Just easy pickings laying on top of the ground. Look at that death plate right there. And here we go. Look at this nice little choice guy right here. Not as big as a cigarette, but wow. Nice. Nice crinoid here. Illinois 146 road cut just east of Anna, Illinois. Here's one of those situations you run into where your heart starts to beat fast and then you find this and it's not a crinoid, it's a stick. So looks like you're laying in the dirt or in the, in the road in the soil, it looks like a crinoid laying there, so we call those sticknoids. Not a crinoid, just a stick. Your heart rate races for no reason. So, lever right there, another sticknoid. Pulled again. Just uh, reached down into the dark soil, saw something light colored kind of peeking up at me. And uh, look at that. Looky, looky. Nice Archimedes screw. All right, Chase has found two of these already, and this is my first here on where Illinois 146 today. Nice little horn coral. Not as nice as those you find at the Route 1 road cut near St. Leon, Indiana. We're hoping to visit there soon for an episode, but pretty long, uh, good size. We'll take it. Here's a nice piece of limestone. Flip it over. Let's see. Oh, looky there, looky there. Look at that crinoid still embedded in the matrix. Don't know if I should try to extract that and break it or try to shrink down the size of this sample. Wow, that is truly, truly a nice find. Well, talk about a heartbreaker when it comes to fossil hunting. I uh, was able to liberate a more manageable size of that matrix a moment ago with that large crinoid. 
and it looks here like did a perfect job okay but don't be fooled because this piece on the end broke free of the matrix so I will probably get some paleo glue and fix that and leave this uh, in matrix clean it up nicely should be a beautiful specimen just laying on the top like candy look at that nice little crinoid nice little crinoid up here there another crinoid part of an Archimedes screw a little section of that so look at that folks just laying right on top of the strata or in the soil beautiful take a look at those little little handful of treasures and it's almost as nice as the one that I just found. But just picked up this slab that was weathering out and take a look at that little bit of a death plate. Nice little collection of crinoids right on the edge. I think I'll leave it right here for someone else or for future erosion. But a, a beautiful, beautiful little section there. Look at that wonderful detail, it's been preserved just probably less than two minutes of searching and found these beautiful little crinoids. Now I'm hearing something from behind me. Yeah. And Chase, oh, Chase, look at the find. Look at the find. Gorgeous. The father is both proud and jealous. As you can see, our visit to the Illinois 146 road cut just east of Anna did not disappoint. Three blastoids, dozens of crinoid stems and Archimedes screws combined with a handful of horn corals and most of them acquired with no more effort than taking candy from a sleeping baby. Decades of erosion have liberated innumerable fossils from the strata, providing easy pickings for collectors over the years. I personally have visited this handy locale on many occasions and trust me, I've never gone home empty-handed. Most places require you to hunt for fossils, but here in Southern Illinois, you simply have to collect them. Chase, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think of a uh, 146 road cut? Big thumbs up from my trusty rock hounding son and partner, Chase. So uh, folks, uh, don't just stay down low when you're searching here. Don't be afraid to go up a little bit. We found quite a few treasures up above the ledge, eroded right into the topsoil up there, as well as some plates uh, just laying loose. So uh, fantastic time. As you can see, pretty extensive area. It's probably about 70 yards long. And it also goes to the other side of the street. So there's other exposures that I have found are mainly rich in crinoids and not as many of the other treasures. So anyway, we're gonna keep looking. We're losing light and it uh, looks like Chase is already back on the hunt. Well, we just left about two to two and a half hours of incredible fossil hunting. Me and my main man, Chase, hunting east of Anna, Illinois on Illinois 146, just east of I-57. We found a treasure trove of crinoids, brachiopods, horn coral, and loads and loads of good fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you get a few moments, hop on over to our web store where we have great rock hounding t-shirts, sweatshirts with just that right message for the rock hound in all of us. Thanks.